Hey there, and welcome to another edition of our monthly Seamwork fabric videos, where I walk you through all of the fabric that we used in this month's photo shoot. This month we have two really great patterns with a kind of utilitarian vibe, the Campbell jumpsuit and the Easton quilted jacket. I'm going to walk you through the fabrics that work really well for these two patterns. Campbell is a really cool flight suit style jumpsuit. It has a notch collar, short sleeves, a really great belt and belt loop detail which allows you to wear the jumpsuit either cinched in at the waist or in a more relaxed fit if you choose to wear it without the belt, which I really love those options in silhouette. You also have some great pockets. You have a breast pocket, some back patch pockets, and then some side seam pockets that are top stitched down for that really cool utilitarian touch. It has a button front closure, um, and the fit overall is pretty straight. Again, getting that shaping from the belt. You have bust darts, and then the leg has a nice relaxed tapered fit. Now that might seem like it has a lot going on, but I just think this jumpsuit is really effortless effortlessly cool. Um, let's talk about the fabrics that are going to work really well for it. For this photo sample, I used ugh, this really amazing washed cotton fabric. I got it at Stone Mountain and Daughter Fabrics, one of my favorite fabric stores. I love the washed cotton because it has a little bit of a rumpled texture kind of akin to a linen um, and I just think that it is just really pretty and soft. You can see that it has a little bit of structure. It's not totally falling flat but it's also not so stiff that when you tie that belt you're going to get weird bulkiness. I think it works really well for this jumpsuit. Some other fabrics that are going to work well would include linen. Linen blends would work beautifully. Uh, chambrays, lightweight denims, twills. You can even sew it out of a corduroy and that would be super amazing. What you're looking for is a woven fabric that is in the mid weight range. If you go too lightweight, you might have issues with the opacity of the fabric. It just might be a little bit too revealing. Um, it also may not hold the structure of the details like pockets and the lapel and collar very well. And then on the other side of that, if you shop for something that is really super heavyweight, that belt detail might get a little bit bulky and strange. If you do choose to go with something that's on the heavier weight of medium weight, you could totally do that. Um, it might be a good place to just omit the belt then and go for that more relaxed, straight fit. Uh, Campbell looks really great without the belt, so you totally don't need to sew it with one. So those are some fabrics that work really well. Let me show you the fabric that I used for this month's member bonus. The member bonus for the Campbell jumpsuit is a cool long sleeve. It has a traditional um, placket and cuff detail. Um, so the same fabrics that I detailed before are gonna work really well for the member bonus as well. I used a linen rayon blend, um, which I think just has that really great balance of a little bit of structure, but also a nice soft hand, really wearable drape, um, kind of the best of both worlds. But you can see once again that it has a little bit of body, um, but isn't too stiff. That's what you're looking for for Campbell. Let's talk about the Easton jacket. The Easton jacket is a really cool quilted jacket. It is fully lined, it features a shawl collar, and it has a binding that goes around the entire collar, center front hem, and then those sleeve hems as well. And it closes up with some snaps at the center front. 
This is a really cool jacket that is chock full of some really great techniques and also a lot of opportunity to play with some cool fabrics. So I want to talk about the fabric in kind of three parts. There's your outer shell fabric. This is the fabric that is a visible from the outside of your garment, your lining fabric, and then it's also worth having a little chat about the batting as well that's going to go between those two layers. First, let's talk about the shell fabric. For this part of your jacket, you're going to look for a medium weight fabric, things like lighter weight denims, chambrays, linen, even quilting cotton would be great here. You could look for some suitings or wool fabrics, even flannels would be really great. You just want to go for something that's not um, so stiff that it's not going to take to the quilting really well. You want something that has a nice drape um, that's going to allow the batting to kind of fill out the fabric a little bit. Next, let's talk about the lining. For the lining, you'll want to aim for something that's in the light to medium weight woven family range. Uh, if you want to go for a more traditional uh, apparel lining fabric, uh, Rayon Bemberg is a great choice. You could use a crepe de chine, um, even um, more like a, like a satin type fabric if you really like that silky smooth finish inside of your garments. If you want to do something that's a little easier to handle, if lining is a new technique for you, lawn, sateens, um, those are all going to be great options, even shirtings that have a little bit of a smoother hand. Next, let's talk about that batting. Um, you're going to want to shop for um, a lighter to medium weight range batting um, that doesn't have a very high loft to it. Uh, loft in batting refers to kind of how thick and fluffy the batting is. Uh, this particular garment is designed and drafted with a lighter weight batting in mind. If you are a quilting um, superstar and you want to experiment with that, by all means, give it a try, but it's worth knowing what the pattern is drafted for. Those three elements will all come together to create the quilted jacket of your dreams. I'm going to show you the two samples from this month's photo shoot to hopefully get your creative juices flowing. First, um, I have this sample. This is a cotton chambray. I believe the weight is a five ounce. Um, and you can see it's um, a really nice weight. It's allowing the batting to kind of fill it out really nicely. Um, I really like how this sample turned out. And then on the inside, I have a cotton sateen lining um, in this really great yarn dyed stripe. The sateen's great because it's nice and smooth, but easy to work with. So perfect for lining newbies. Next, let's take a look at our last sample. Um, this is a linen. It's the Nevada linen from Stone Mountain and Daughter. It's a little bit on the heavier weight side. You can see it like kind of wants to stand up on its own there. Um, this is kind of as heavy as I would go for a project like this, but it still turned out really great. Um, the heavier weight linen gives a little bit more dramatic structure to, to the jacket, which I think is a really cool look. And then on the inside, we have a Rayon Bemberg lining. It's super, super silky smooth. Um, if you're planning on wearing this jacket with uh, things like wool sweaters, really layering it up, these um, smoother, more traditional linings um, are just going to wear a lot easier and not get kind of like hitched up on your sleeves and stuff. So a benefit to working with the traditional lining there. And there you have it. Those are all of the fabrics and the samples from this month's photo shoot. 
I hope you found this really helpful and I answered some of your questions about Campbell and Easton. If you liked this video, make sure to like it. And if you want more videos like this, go ahead and subscribe. This will help you to find us again and also help other sewing people find us as well so that we can expand our community and global sewing friendships. Uh, thank you so much for joining me and I will see you next month with more fabric.